Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and what I have today is the modern smartphone. You know, the brick-like shape with the screen all over the place, a few buttons on the side and the touch screen and it, well, it, yes, it can make a phone call, but today we are not really using smartphones as the device to make phone calls. It's rather entertainment and work center. To be honest, it's rather a modern PC uh, that fits in your pocket. Believe it or not, but uh, iPhones were not the first one handheld PCs, your really portable computers that you were able to take with you. Also, Androids were not the first ones, because even before that we had something, well, we had, for example, something like that. What I have today with me is the, well, the grand-grand-grandfather of the smartphone I just showed you a minute before. This is something called the PDA, Personal Digital Assistant, that appeared on the market somewhere like 22 years ago. Yes, believe it or not, this device over here comes from 1999. It's made by Ericsson, but to be honest, it's only the rebranded Psion Series 5 MX. And when I open this thing, look how awesome of the small PC it is. Let's turn it on so you can more or less see what I'm showing you. This is the, the ultimate portable computer you could take with yourself 20 something years ago. It has a touch screen, yes, believe it or not, but it has a touch screen. You can work with this thing with your finger. It has the network connectivity. Unfortunately, I do not have the modem for this to use with the uh, with the network and with the infrared. It had, well, it had because mine, unfortunately, does not have it anymore. It had a stylus, a pen that you can use to type, and it also has the keyboard. Yes, believe it or not, but you can use this thing as the keyboard. Want the proof? For example, let's open the text editor that in this thing is called the word. And the thing, of course, does not want to open. Maybe now. Okay. File. Create. New file. And now we can start typing. We are... Pavel resistance is futile. Yeah, of course, that doesn't make much sense. So, this is how the personal digital assistant that later completely died on the market looked like. And this is one of the most powerful personal digital assistants ever made. If we take a look at more interesting details, it, for example, has external buttons that you can use to use the voice recorder. It has a place when you can insert the CF card, external memory, why not? Over here was the stylus, unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. It's powered by ah, two AA batteries. Ah, you, you're out of batteries, you're out of juice, you just slap in the new batteries and you can go. It has the infrared port over here, like I said, I don't have anything that works with that. And here also you can connect the serial, it's a serial port that you can use to connect external peripherals. The keyboard is sliding one of a type, so when you open this thing it just opens like that. It has the microphone, it has the... Uh, it has the speakers, uh, also should have somewhere the connector for the headphones, but right now I cannot, of course, find it. Uh, or am I only wrong? It's not really important. And this is exactly how the really portable computers looked like exactly 22 years ago. MC218 made by... Ericsson that later connected with Sony Ericsson and then everything died and now it's only Sony and It's one of the coolest device. Oh, 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 this is awesome. This is awesome. you see I can enable the backlight. Uh, it's kind of um, Light in here. There's a lot of light. So I'm not sure if you can see it But it has the backlight and it's still running. <sighs> I wish I had more toys 
off like that. So, anytime in the future you will see a smartphone and you will think that this is the best design ever, like the top of the evolution, see how cool of the device can be something that is 22 years ago. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one. Bye-bye.